Hello and welcome to the Blender Basics video series. These videos are designed to accompany the chapters found in the Blender Basics tutorial book and not as a replacement. So if you don't have the book, head on over to www.cdschools.org slash Blender Basics to download a free copy. This video will focus on Chapter 6, Setting Up a World in Cycles. Now I recommend that you read the chapter. There are a lot of things in there where right now we're not going to demonstrate the mist or setting up stars. The steps are a little bit um, longer and, and easy to follow along in the booklet. Right now we're just going to set up the basics of um, using a background world So, um, with a picture. So when you look at my screen right now, we have started out with a basic scene of a cube and a ground plane. Um, I'm already set into Cycles Render and I split my screen and set up a Node Editor window. I'm already over in the World settings, so if we wanted to add a world, we just hit the New button, just like in the classic Render Engine. And you'll see that we have our shaders just like we do when we're putting a material on an object. So right now, the surface is already set up for background since we are in the World settings. So what we need to do now is we're going to actually change this to an image texture. So rather than a color, which we could easily set just to color, I'll click on the small button here and we're going to choose image texture. I need to open up an image. So we're going to go to open. And if I go out to my um, texture maps folder, I have some panoramic images that I found online and have downloaded that are available for free. And I'm just going to choose this nice one right here with the landscape scene. And let's see, it did not open, let's choose it again here. And there we go, so now we have the background image loaded. And it's trying to render it out right now, but something doesn't quite look right, because under Vector, we have to choose Generate It under Vector to make it work out. And now we start to see an image, but it is all out of whack. Okay, so we need to make some corrections here. And some of the things we need to do in the node editor is right now, under Generate It, I'm gonna choose Camera instead. So if I can rotate this to match the camera better, I think things will look a lot nicer for us. So there we're set up for the camera. I'm gonna spread these out a little bit more. Okay, it looks like it's going a little better for us, but still not quite right. What we basically need to do is we need to add a mapping node to this from the vector group. So I'm going to go to Add, Vector, and Mapping. And I'm going to throw that like right here in the middle, and if you put it in the middle, it'll automatically space everything out and connect for you. So now what we have to do is we have to tweak the location, rotation, and scale of things. So one thing I think I've found out from previous experience with these images, if I change my X scale to like 0.3, I think it's going to be scaled a little bit better. And then we need to rotate the image. So what I found is if I rotate it on the Y axis, and I'm going to go 1, there's 0.1, 2, the image is trying to catch up with me as I go here. I'm going to go to about a 0.4. And again, you'll have to fine tune these for your own image the way that you want to work. And if I wanted to be closer to the house, then that's probably going to be an X rotation to rotate us a little bit more towards the house. So there you go. There's a little bit better of a background image. So it's not too difficult to get an image into the background in cycles. And again, we did most of our work over here in the properties panel. So again, we added a, we added a background surface which was automatic when we added the new node, image texture, vector mapping, and we changed, and you notice this, this vector here, mapping came out in here, and texture coordinate camera. So we had to make a few adjustments in here as well. And that's about it. So now, now that's a pretty easy way to get an image into the background in cycles. So thanks for watching.